boy, I might have enough for the next section of the reading. Those cards are flying uh, out there. So the overall energy of your reading, Libras, is, is the King of Swords. This is Air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And um, so Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius also might be around your reading someplace. But this is you. This is your energy. You have your sword up in self-protection. Um, you're kind of in self-defense mode in a way. It's almost like you're just you're seeking truth and clarity. You're on guard about you know needing the truth and clarity here. So the King of Swords surrounds your entire reading. I have the Two of Wands in your highest energy. So these are the two strongest energies in your whole reading, Libras. So you're on guard. You're being cautious. You're being very careful about wanting to move forward with the Two of Wands. You're holding on to a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings with one hand. And with the other hand, you're holding the world. So you're anticipating what your future is going to be looking like. But you're very much aware and on guard uh, about the truth and the clarity about moving forward. So you're going to move forward cautiously. I have the Page of Swords right next to the Two of Wands and right, right above the King of Swords. So Page of Swords, yeah, you're on guard. Your sword is up. You're not swinging it, though. It's just up. You're just paying very close attention to everything around you, very much um, guarding yourself. And ready to move forward at the same time. You've been going through this deep, deep healing here. I have the star card. This is the card for Aquarius. Aquarius might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this is the healing that you've done has been so deep. And this is why you're on guard about moving forward. You're ready to move forward now. But... Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the judgment card comes out um, in this reading. But it, it feels like you have healed. And you have healed right down to your bare bones. It's like seeing that reflection in that pool of water. And remembering the essence of who you are on the inside. who you, What you want. What you don't want from life. So, deep healing has taken place for you Libras. And um, you are moving forward very cautiously, but you are ready to move forward. I have the lovers right under the two of wands and next to the king of swords. There's your guardian angels and your spirit guides right there. See them with their hands out, their arms are out, and they're trying to bring you together with a soulmate. This is a divine soulmate, someone you might have been lovers with in another life. Um, but... Um, they are just, it's coming in. It's out there. It's right under the two of wands. So you're looking out there wondering what's out there. And the cards are saying, this is what's out there. Your guardian angels and spirit guides have someone they want you to meet, to, to lock eyes with. Okay? Card for Gemini. Might be strong in your chart, their chart, or around the reading. Um, it's right next to the King of Swords. Gemini is also an air sign. And then we have the Queen of Swords. Le uh, Aquarius is an air sign. And here we have the Queen of Swords next to the King of Swords. This is who your guardian angels and spirit guides want you to come together with. There is, I don't know if they're an air sign. They could be Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. But this is someone... Who is out there waiting for you. And um, they're waiting for you to be available. To be ready to move forward. They have their sword up. They like to talk about truth. They like to speak their truth. This is what you need in your life. Right here. You need someone who is clear. And concise about what they want. And where they want to go in life. Right under the star card. So all this healing is bringing you to this place of where your guardian angels and spirit guides want you to meet up with your divine soulmate. This whole relationship will be based on truth and clarity. You're more guarded than they are, but they are still all about the truth and the clarity. They very well could have Libra in their chart. They very well could have any air sign, any sign actually, 
but um, they like, I, I'm feeling that they also might be a Libra, mm, but for some reason, <laughs> it's the Libra card is right under the Queen of Swords, and I'm, I'm like, I don't know, it's like they want to be balanced too, they're also seeking the truth and clarity. I have the High Priestess under the Lovers. The High Priestess is the card in the tarot deck for intuition and knowing. It's, it's like saying, pull back that pomegranate curtain and pay attention to what your intuition is telling you. And it will help guide you toward the lover. The one that you want in your life. The one that will stay in your life. Um, this is your intuitions and your uh, uh, knowing. It's running very, very strong right now. Trust yourself when this card comes out. This is almost like advice. This is advice. Trust yourself okay you trust your gut feelings about the soulmate when they come into your life you can stay on guard you can stay on guard all you want but make sure that you ask the right questions and this person if they're the right person okay that's up in front of you here um they will be more than willing to to speak their truth because that's what they want to do and they want to hear your truth so your whole relationship will be about being able to communicate. I have the Nine of Swords under the King of Swords and next to the High Priestess. You've been up in your head. It is All these swords are about truth and clarity. And your times that you spent alone, probably in your healing time here with the Star card, um, you've been seeking truth and clarity about your life. It, it's about your choices that you've made so far in life. And you're like, I don't want to make any more wrong choices and um, so you've really been trying to figure things out you've put your sword up and you are moving forward you're ready to move forward you're actually not moving there in that card but you are anticipating it and you're getting ready for it I have the justice card right next to the nine of swords and right next to or right under the queen of swords this is the card for Libra here's your card now, this is all about having your sword up in self-protection. This is about having your scales balanced here. Um, so, this is what you're doing. And you're doing it through your healing, too. And you're going to keep your sword up and you're going to stay balanced even when you run into this new soulmate of yours. So, you will not be wavered. You are going to be strong. You have uh, found self-justice -just in all this healing that you've been doing. Let's take out the second part of this reading. Now, the Empress can be Libra or Taurus. So it will be Libra because it's up in your highest energy. God, I've got just enough cards for both sections in one, sh in one shuffle. I can't believe that. So... Up in your highest energy, we have the Ten of Swords. This is the end of the pain, the end of the suffering. It comes through all that healing that you've been doing. Ten of Swords. All that truth, all that clarity, it really does help you heal. It's right next to the Empress, which is your card. This is Libra or Taurus. So Taurus also might be strong in your chart, or Libra or Taurus might be strong in someone else's chart around this reading. But the Empress here... This is reminding you of, you know, what kind of person you are. You are loving, kind, supportive. You're giving. You're thoughtful. You're considerate. <laughs> you have so many great qualities about being a person on earth. Um, this card can signify pregnancy uh, or children and usually pregnancy, you know, sometimes. But um, what they're doing here is they're reminding you of the special qualities that you have as a human being on earth. And whoever you let into your life must have a lot of those same qualities. This person down here that's coming in, this divine soulmate, they're going to have a lot of those same qualities. They're going to want a lot of the same things. I feel like you've kind of forgotten about yourself. Uh, that's probably why you had some deep healing to do. Uh, you kind of turned your back, I think, on loving yourself for a while. I think uh, there was something that happened 
Maybe you had a breakup in a, a separation, breakup in a relationship that had to do with love, because cuts are love, and they're stacked all over the place here. And, and you're actually turning your back, but it being next to the Empress card, this tells me that you may have forgotten some of your qualities, and maybe that's something that you had to just, you know, you healed to your bare bones, and you're coming back around to going, wait a minute, I deserve better. I deserve what I offer other people. Yes, you do. So, under the Ten of Swords, the end of the pain, the end of all uh, the hurt, I have the Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Swords is actually asking about this, okay? So, the Queen of Swords, asking all and speaking all that truth and clarity, which is coming into your life, um, they're gonna, you're going to talk about love. You're going to talk about what you've both been through. I think you've both been through um, some disappointments in love. But also, eventually, they're going to profess their love to you. <laughs> they're going to want to speak their truth. This is the type of person that always speaks their truth. And um, they're, they're, they, are, they will come out and they will say, Hey, look, I have deep feelings for you. <laughs> like, I can't help it, you know. And so you have love coming in. I, next to the Ace of Cups and under the Empress, I have the Five of Wands. Now, this is where you've been. This is part of what you've been healing over, too. And when this person, there's a couple things going on. This card represents mental stress, anxiety, and confusion. Okay? This is where you've been. Okay? This is what you've healed from. So it also represents how you're going to feel when your divine soulmate comes forward and says, now this isn't going to happen like instantaneously. This is going to be down the road. But they're, eventually they're going to come forward and they're going to say, look, I love you. And this is, you're, you're going to automatically go into this place in your head of, oh my God, what do I do now? What do I say? Um, you know, it, it's going to be kind of throw you for a loop. And um, you're going to realize, because see, you need to know that they have a lot of the same qualities that you do as a person. You need to know that this is sincere. You need to know that this confession of love is really coming from their heart. And with the Knight of Cups being here, um, it is. And actually, I think they make you feel whole again. I think that they, you know, you've kind of forgotten, you kind of lost the cup there. I think they're bringing it back to you. Uh, so to speak, you know, metaphorically, um, and they're, they're going to complete you, okay? So um, at first you're going to be, you know, you're on guard. So, you know, you're not going to be like, yeah, she loved me. No, you're going to be like, what do I do now? You know, how, then you're going to start evaluating yourself. You're going to start thinking about your own feelings. Um, you, next to your card, the Knight of Pentacles, and this is under the Ace of Cups. You know, once people start saying, I love you, that could lead to commitment. And so you're not really um, in a hurry for commitment. So you maybe that's why you're into this stress and anxiety when you hear it from the, from the other person. Uh, you do have a pentacle for commitment. Uh, you can be secure and stable and solid in a relationship. That really is what you want, but... It, it seems to kind of throw you for a loop. I don't think you really expect it, okay, when it's coming in. So the horse is moving. It looks like it's standing still. It's moving very slowly. And I think that's you. I think um, that's the way you're going to move because you're going to stay in self-protection here as long as you can um, and not be, vulner not be vulnerable. But I have the Knight of Swords right next to the Knight of Pentacles and right under the Five of Wands. The Knight of Swords is action, taking action. See that sword up there? Rushing forward, truth and clarity. It's like, you're going to speed this horse up. You're like, no, uh, I don't need to be slow anymore. You're like, I'm going to stop being the Knight of Pentacles, male or female, and I'm gonna, going to trust this, because there's a lot of trust that builds up between the King and Queen of Swords. A lot of trust, because there's so much communication. Um, that you're going to cut that slowness out. You're going to decide, you're going to figure out that this is a sincere love offer. And they've come in and you're going to have to, and you're not, not going to have to, but you're going to get to stop waiting 
for love to come to fruition because it's going to come to fruition. And this is something that, that's hard to let go if you've been waiting a long time. So this is like staring at this bush that's budded, but it's not blooming. And you wait, and you wait, and you wait. And I feel like you feel that you have waited such a long time for this person to come into your life that you really, at first, it, it really does throw you for a loop. But you do develop all this trust, all this um, clarity, all this truth that's spoken between the two of you. You get to know each other so well um, that you do uh, understand that and you will understand that this is a sincere love offer and you don't need to hold back with that pentacle uh, much longer. You won't, you won't. I'm going to take out a card of advice for this reading from the angel deck. And so um, it may or may not have to do with the reading, but it is something that you need to hear from your guardian angels and spirit guides. Big fat cards here. They are just, got to handle them carefully. They're big for my hands. One more, one more shuffle. Okay. I'm going to cut them and take the bottom card and I feel like it's... Go within, it says. And you can pause, you can read this as many times as you want. I'm going to read it to you though. Go within. You are a very intuitive person, and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the, the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. So in this patience, I say communicate, communicate, communicate.